Sup shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews where today I have the pleasure of reviewing a mix called Harmony Vibes from DJ Johnny L of uh, Dynamic Design Entertainment and if we switch over to here to SoundCloud we have ourselves an hour long mix. Now I'm not going to be listening through the whole hour of it today, I'll probably be listening to like maybe the first like 5 to 10 minutes of it but that's okay, that's usually enough time to get a feel for what a DJ is doing in regards to their technique, the direction of the sets, how they like to structure things and um, the kind of music they're into and that's great. We're going to listen through this set like for a part of it and uh, we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. Hundred and twenty BPM. Is there some filter work going on here? Like, has he got the filter work on the track, or is it the, the track itself like this? Could be either, to be honest. Oh, that sub bass resonance is fantastic. Now, obviously, you want to tell about, for instance, transitions, how obvious they are, or sort of looping, all those other kind of techniques. Well, that's a really great entrance, though. Just slowly building that intensity there. You don't want to start too heavy. I wasn't expecting that track to come in then. But it's okay. Cool, cool, cool. We've got some vocals coming on top of the instrumental. That's fantastic. Great, some great filter work. Again, it's fantastic. Oh. Oh, now that's interesting there. That sub bass resonance comes occasionally. I'm not sure that's coming from the EQ version of it. This is a little bit deeper than your traditional ABA sort of structure to a mix. It's more of an experience than anything else. It sounds like one track. Yeah, I'm bopping. I'm bopping to it. I'm digging it. I'm vibing with it. Yeah, like both tracks are balanced really well. It could just be the one track, actually. I'm not sure. Because when you've got when you a track with this amount of emphasis in the mids and, and lows, having some like vocal rapping line, even if it's sampled lines, is a nice kind of way to fill up the overall frequency spectrum. The tracks work together, there's a lot of tension, but that's okay. There's a slant of unpredictability in parts. I'm not. Oh. I wasn't expecting it to change that, but that's okay. Because this is what DJing is, is mixing different influences from different tracks together to make one whole sounding, you know, piece of music and it's great. Are there some reverse samples on the snares in that original track? Get on the floor, soldier, like you 
it's interesting like it's been a while since i listened to a mix where there was this much change in the the subs because it comes in and out like waves oh we got some phaser work sick cool this is fun all right what do we got next Oh, we're going away from that second one. What's happening next? I'm curious. The kicks are consistent as per the status quo with this kind of music. Nice reverb tail on no sense. They really cut through the mix. Ah, uh, we've got a new one coming in sweet. Some variation in the oscillation on that. Uh... Oh, that's kind of a nice touch on the left hand side. Hey, that was a very smooth transition. Well done, I see what you did there. DJ Johnny, I see what you did there. Great continuation of that vibe. Are we mixing on two or three decks? Are we speeding up? Did we speed up a little bit? Are we using analog decks? <laughs> yeah, this is really competent actually. Some of the cutting was a bit interesting in that previous pool. Like what he's doing is kind of making it his own. I can't tell if there's two or three different elements going on here, but uh, I'm digging the, the overall vibe of it, the overall. And, and it was a really great transition from what we had in the first five minutes to this. Seems like a maturity and development of the main theme. The vocals coming through nice and clearly. Good, good, good. Oh yeah, man, you can you can rave to this and groove to this. Nice, we're getting rid of the lows for this part. Oh, I thought we were going to get it, but we're being teased a little bit. There's been no markups, no technical issues or anything like that. The volume stayed fairly consistent throughout.
Nice to have those kicks very up there. I kind of miss the vocals, but I understand that I need to be a sometimes thing. All right, this is looking like a good place to kind of pause up here. Good, good. I think I'm starting to get a feel for what um, Dynamic Design Entertainment do. If we go to SoundCloud here, DJ Johnny L from Strong Island, New York, United States. I got a decent amount of followers, well done. DJ, producer, entertainment, deep tick, house disco, hippish, NY underground. Fantastic, lots of love for that. Getting a fair bit of attention on this mix. 2700 is pretty good. Getting that love and those, uh, re those reposts, I think. Yeah. You know, clearly this musician has experience and, and has been mixing for a while. And the, the how clean this this mix was in general, the set. At least so far, I'm blown away and really happy with it. You know, you can clearly see we have like that starter part where it's a little bit kind of less intense in the energy and it kind of comes up and gets really kind of full on here and kind of peters out a little bit before a bit of a finish. This seems like a really interesting set. And while I would like to listen to more of it, I typically try and limit myself to like, like the first like eight to 10 minutes and like a single single track review. Yeah, the, the song choices were great. They, they shared similar key signatures and tempos and the grooves them were fantastic as well. Some of the emotional content worked very well together. Even though they weren't necessarily about the same thing, they flew well into each other and the overall vibe was similar enough that it felt really, really succinct and sort of professional and polished. Yeah, no real complaints about it. Great work. Great work, Johnny, Johnny L, DJ Johnny L. A lot of love for that. Um, I can't really offer any constructive criticism there. I would need to listen to more of Johnny's work to be able to sort of hear how this sort of relates to other mixes he's done as well as other stuff within the genre. And that's fine. But if I was listening to this guy in a club, I think I'd be happy with it. I'd be, I'd be digging it again. I'm really happy with what I got to listen to today and it's a pleasure to have been the opportunity to listen to this fine DJ stuff. So thank you very much for uh, watching this review of uh, Harmony Vice by uh, Dynamic Design Entertainment, uh, AKA DJ Johnny L. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go show Johnny, DJ Johnny L some love via his various social medias and, and SoundCloud. And stay cool and stay safe. And please also remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As they need to help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. Catch you in the next review. Spider hands out.